Are you having a tough time with your brakes through knee rehab and want to work on it in the linear vector going forward and going backwards? Well, here's five things that you can do to start working on your brakes going forward or backwards. So the first thing that you want to do is just put ourselves in that position. We're not going to move just yet, but I'm just a little medicine ball snap down in here. And I'm just working on catching myself as the ball pulls me down. Now you can either progress this by lifting your foot up and catching it or just moving in place without your foot leaving the ground. And the ball, I get to control how fast the ball goes down. The second way that you can do this is I can grab a kettlebell. <laughs> Shout out to my friend Corey Schlesinger who taught me this exercise. He made this very popular across social. It calls them little catches. So what I'm gonna do is start it, same hand, same foot. And I'm gonna switch hands as I try and catch it and work on the brakes on the way down. So here it could go slow and I'm there. Okay, working on the brakes on the way down. Now I can increase the intensity by going faster and letting the kettlebell go further down here. So again, working on my brakes as if I was going forward. The third way and the fourth way that we're gonna progress this is by going, hopping forward and hopping backwards, but manipulating ground contact times to progress or regress the intensity. So the first phase is just long, soft, and rhythmic. So just long ground contact times nice and soft. The second way that I can do that is fast ground contact times with shorter time in between. So really, really fast, hop and stick. So you can add those sticks in there either with the long ground contact time or the short ground contact time. Now the fifth and final phase was we wanna use a band to help us pull us into a cut. So what I'm gonna do is grab this strap here, put it around my waist, and I'm gonna let the band pull me in to a D-cell. So the further I walk it out, the more intense this D-cell is gonna be, working on my brakes and the linear vector. So I come forward, let the band pull me in. If I back it up further, it's a lot harder to stop, but I'm not letting myself go forward. This band's helping me increase the intensity as I go forward. Not the best one there too. Switch legs. And that's five ways that you can improve your brakes in the linear vector coming off knee surgery or knee injury.